Hey, Azu here. In this quick video, I'm just going to talk about how you can convert any kind of AI file or ESP file or vector file into SVG format. If a UX designer or, you know, if you know about, you know, FreePeak, that FreePeak, most of the, you know, these images or vectors, they're not giving this edit option. So, how you can do, how you can change the colors, how it's possible, in this video I will explain. I will cover this video in a four step. Number one, we'll try to finding out an images are, you know, that is needed for us. For example, now I'm just finding web developer image. So I just search in free pick web developer and I get to see here this one and some of the more, right? But mainly I just need the free version because I don't have a premium membership now. So in this case, uh, this is the looking good. Uh, let me choose here vectors and this type of vectors is really cool. All right, so it also looks cool. So let's click on here. And as you can see, it's have the option download. Just click on download button, free download to download it. All right, so now it just download finish. And secondly, we can, okay, let me click on here. And then you will get to see here, we are getting this type of file like JPG, EPS and AI file. But unfortunately, some of the people that don't have Adobe Stator. So basically this AI file or this uh, EPS format is supported at Illustrator. Some of the people don't have this, right? Like me. Uh, sometimes I, I like, okay, I, I feel like, okay, it's really hard. If I going to directly make it SVG, then I can directly use it in a Figma, so I don't have to take the pain. So, so now, since we have this file, you have to search in Google EPS to SVG or AI to SVG. So I think um, every single time, the free pick they will give you EPS format file so just search on Google and also type here online free online free um, then you know this website I think this is providing absolutely free and here is some more website then you can also convert it all right so this is also a good website previously I was used it many times so you can come in a website in here uh, convert it IO and let me drag and drop here the file and okay so here it's going to add a two but i just need only one um svg right yep svg but i just need only one so this is the eps format just click on here the convert button then it will be take a little bit time then it just going to convert us yep it just convert it and just make it svg all right so now i just download here the svg format and now let me go here the figma if you're a UX UI designer, then you can use it Figma, or if you're not, then you can also use UX, you know, use Figma. So, all right, so this is the icon that you're going to, you know, use, and this is inside of the frame, and here is a group, and here are some others. So, um, if I double click on here, then I can delete it. For example, I just don't need these, so I can directly select it, or I can directly change here or something. Um, for example, yeah, this is the all. Mainly, I just need here only, yep, I can delete here again. Okay, all right, so here are some of the other things that is not necessary. So we can delete here. Let me delete all. Let me show you how it is deleting, you know. I just click, double click, double click, double click, and then if you see here the left side, we are going to see here this layer, right? If you click on the I button, then you can choose. This is the right one or not. So I'm just, this is the right side, so delete it. Again, double click, double click, and this one also, and this one, you see here also, I can directly delete it. Also here, this one, uh, let me delete it, no, this one also. So I just delete it, and here's some other thing that is, uh, I have to delete also. Here are the text, delete, and here is the thing that is need to be delete. Yep, now it just perfect something, and I just, I don't really need here this border also. So this is the perfect thing that I'm just going to, you know, using so I can resize it if I need to do or if I need to you know just make it out of the box then you can directly make it like this now it is out of the box so I don't really need this and now this is the SVG format that I just need to, I just need to use right now let me put it center and now I can directly change here what do I need to do for example I just need to change here this color right so double click change the field color into whatever you love to do also click here and change here into whatever I love to do. For example, I'm just going to change here this t-shirt color. So click on and he also hear the color. Then if you want to change any color or if you have any color code, then you can just directly paste here, right? 
Super simple and super easy, not something hard. So anyone can do this, it's simple. And now um, you can export it as a PNG and then later if you need to you know, change something else, then you can do it. Also if you wanna make it increase the size, then you can increase it or uh, if you are going to use an, another file in Figma, you can do it. Or also if you wanna, uh, if you wanna export it as a Export it as a how you just export just click on here this export button just go to here uh, You can export it as a PNG, SBZ, PDF, JPG, whatever you love to do you can do it from here So it's a really cool option. Let me uh, make it in you know, a PNG and also if you want to put something high resolution you can choose from here uh, Let me check it out how it look like. Yep. It just really looks good. I think it's perfect something. So I hope guys now we understand if you have any question about this or if you get any kind of error in this situation, you can you can just let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to learn Figma, then please also let me know in the comment section you want to learn Figma. I will try to make a different course for this. When I will be free, I will try to do this. Thank you so much.